So I just got done watching Red One, a movie that I thought was going to be absolute dog shit, or in this case, I guess I should say reindeer shit since it's a holiday movie. But I didn't expect the best from this. The marketing really wasn't the best. The trailer looked like an overly long fake SNL, one of those movie sketches that they would do where they're like, upcoming this movie. Like, if you've ever seen Dwayne Johnson's The Bambi live action film that they made fun of on Saturday Night Live, that's what I kind of expected from this. But I tried to be optimistic because it's Jake Kasdan directing this, who I think did a really solid job with the two Jumanji movies with Dwayne Johnson, as well as I like Chris Evans. I love J.K. Simmons and specifically him casted as Santa Claus is like almost perfect casting. But the film just didn't seem to be my cup of tea. But after seeing it. I still don't think it's a great movie. I, I don't even know if I would recommend it to the majority of people, but I think there's some good aspects in it that made me go, maybe I'll watch this again. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new movie review. Today, I'm going to be discussing Red One. After Santa Claus, codenamed Red One, is kidnapped the North Pole's head of security, Dwayne Johnson, must team up with the world's most infamous bounty hunter, played by Chris Evans, in a globetrotting, action-packed mission to save Christmas. Like, like I said, this is directed by Jake Kasdan. It's also written by Chris Morgan, who's like most notably noted for doing Fast and Furious films. And of course, like I said, it stars Dwayne Johnson, Chris Evans, J.K. Simmons. So... I wasn't excited for this one, like at all, but I went in optimistic, hoping to have a good time. And I think this is like a tale of two things. I don't think this is a good made movie, nor would I even recommend it to a lot of different people specifically to rush out and see it in theaters, which I, I hate saying because I feel like we should support our movie theaters. But I do think this is actually a movie that like eventually when it comes on video on demand or home video and you're cranking around like the fireplace, setting up your Christmas holiday lights, um, wrapping presents like a, a tradition for me is like sitting around wrapping presents and watching Christmas movies. This is one of those movies that I would probably add into that rotation where I've seen once I liked it enough if I could even say that. But I could say, oh, like I could pop this on. I could pop in and tune in at any point in time and enjoy what I was watching. But there is a lot of significant issues with this film throughout the entire movie that I will be obviously talking about today. So please leave your thoughts down below. Hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, I like starting with the pros, the best things about movies. And the number one thing I do want to say is I actually feel, and I never thought I would be saying this about this movie because the, the whole upcoming about this film with Amazon making it and funding the movie just felt a little bit off to me. But I'm actually very genuinely surprised to see that the holiday charm and spirit is actually there. I thought this was going to be a big marketing ploy for Amazon and toy companies and everything like that. And obviously there is product placement in this movie. Like most 99% of Christmas movies have product placement in it. But Red One actually has a sensibility to it and actually has this holiday spirit and holiday charm that doesn't feel cheap or meandering. It actually feels passionate. Like the, there is actual passion put into this film. And maybe some of you may disagree with me, but genuinely watching this, I was like, you know, check that box for the Christmas typical cliche classic spirit that they have to have in here. Oh, tip, click off this box. If someone changing their heart and not being a Grinch anymore, check off this box, checks off this box. And as someone who just will enjoy a lot of Christmas movies, bad, good, great. This is one of those that again, forgettable in some essence, but also at the same time entertaining and the most part. I don't think this is like one of those films that you watch because of the action, which is crazy to say because it should be. But I think this is one that you watch because you like the banter of the characters and specifically the Christmas element to it. Which adding on top of that, while it checked off all those boxes for me and those avenues that made it feel more worthy than just a product placement film was the mythology of the film. I get very into mythology and world building and I'm all about the mythical creatures of our world and everything of that nature. And I like when films touch into those. That's why I'm a major fan of Hellboy and I love when it touches into certain things of that. And Red One actually like kind of hones into like that agency of the government of like how they protect Santa Claus and other creatures like that. And 
while they don't dive fully into it, I wish they would have maybe dove into it a little bit deeper. Like specifically, like there's one character that shows up earlier on that like they're interrogating or like right after you saw interrogating. And I, I was like, that is genuinely cool. I would like to see spinoffs of that government agency to see where they go. But in general, the mythology, the world building, everything they do with Santa Claus here is some of the best parts about the film and genuinely is my favorite thing that I really liked about this film. But I do think the best part about this film is J.K. Simmons as Santa Claus. He's not in the film enough, but my God, he is phenomenal in this. He's like near, not I don't even want to say near, he is perfect casting. It is actually so stupid how good he is in this movie as Santa Claus. A muscle out, badass Santa Claus, but Santa Claus nonetheless. And I love that. I love seeing different iterations of St. Nick. And I think Simmons just absolutely delivered the charm, the nuance, everything you come to expect from Santa Claus, you get here. And I love J.K. Simmons in here. I, I almost think, like again, he's not in the movie enough. But I would almost go as far as to say it is worth watching the movie just to see his performance. I, I thought he was great in here alongside this i actually think the rock and chris evans banter is pretty solid i think chris evans is the stronger of the two specifically with his character arc and what he has to go about and i also again checking off those boxes that i mentioned i do like where the rock's character is in this where it starts and where it gets to i think again character arcs here are very very good and very fun so again checking off those boxes for the Christmas spirit. I do want to give one more shout out. And while I didn't particularly like the villain of this movie, I thought they were just very generic. I like, again, the mythology essence of it, but like the buildup of it and all that, just yeah, throw it out the door. But Kieran Shipka, who I think is a very underrated actress, was great in this. Like she was having a ball with this character. They would have just given her a little bit more meat here. And last but not least, the last thing I really want to like praise in this movie is the production design it actually looks pretty damn good. I think a lot of it just looks stunning the way that they build up a lot of the, the North Pole and certain other elements and other areas that they go to, specifically one dealing with Krampus and the prosthetics and makeup look great. It would have been very easy for them to just do a fully visual effects Krampus but they actually went the full mile and did actual makeup and prosthetics and he looks fantastic. Where we get into my issues. And like I said, I don't think this movie's good. I don't, but it's a Christmas movie and it nailed what I wanted it to nail. This film is a mess though. It is a flat out mess. From the script to a lot of some of the jokes to some of the action. And overall, I found a lot of this movie to just kind of be dull. Like, I enjoyed some elements to it, specifically the ones that hearken and dive more into the Christmas spirit. But when it's not diving into that and it's trying to be Call of Duty, but like the Call of Duty random spinoff mission where you're saving Santa Claus, it's not good. It's not It's not good at all. It's so dull and generic that it, it wasn't even like ludicrous to the idea of like, oh, this is like fun and funny because... It's like soldiers trying to save Santa. No, it's just, it's boring. Like, it's just straight up boring mumbo jumbo. And I think the film really starts to gain a lot of its spark once Chris Evans actually gets attached to this mission. It takes a while to really, you you get introduced to his character pretty early on, but the fact of him actually joining the mission takes, I feel, way too long to get to. And specifically, once he is, he is very much the audience. Like, reacting to, like, what the fuck is that? What is this? What is that? Those are fun. But again, everything else kind of all the spec ops, like black ops sort of stuff in here just made me roll my eyes. It, it, it wasn't needed. And I would have liked if it would have taken more of a sillier approach, I guess, in those avenues, because it's like the tone is trying to fight itself so much. It's like you either have one or the other. And on top of that as well, the visual effects sometimes are really bad really really bad there's a giant polar bear in here that looks great but when it comes down to the action like specifically all the ones like dealing with in the snow it's so dark sometimes i can't make out what the hell was happening 
But there are some other ones, such as the snowman fight scene, that I thought was fun and engaging, and I liked, again, the mythology to that. Overall, it felt dull in those moments, and I felt that the film meandered a little bit too much. It's about two hours and eight minutes long, and I think it could have easily been an hour and 40 minutes, and it would have been a perfect runtime for a type of film like this. I think sometimes the banter works in here between Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans, but for the most part, a lot of the jokes, I was kind of sitting there like, oh, uh -huh, yeah, I, I should be laughing a little bit harder at that. And it really sucks to say that because I think Dwayne Johnson has really good comedic timing. Same thing with Chris Evans. And I think the better jokes come from him particularly. Some stuff in here that is a bit cringy and again, just kind of makes the film feel longer, which leads to my last issue and that is the pacing. The pacing unequivocally just is not there. It feels again, dragged out. It feels dull. You know where it's going to go when certain things get ended up. And I would have liked something a little bit more nuanced. Again, I'm not expecting a Christmas masterpiece here. I'm not expecting Miracle on 45th Street. But I'm expecting one of two things. I'm expecting a really fun new Christmas classic that's going to surprise me, give me the charm, and really deliver a story that is fun and entertaining while maybe having some minor issues here and there. Or maybe an actually great action film that has some fun Christmas undertones to it, such as Violent Night did, which I really love. It kind of falls somewhere in the middle, where it's not one that I could highly recommend to anyone, but it's also not one that I would dissuade people from going to see. It's not one that I would be like, oh, is it on streaming? No, yeah, you should not watch that movie. I would think that was a waste of time. I'd say watch it, give it a shot. I, I don't think it's much memorable, but I think it does check the boxes and deliver Christmas spirit in a small little package. I think Red One is overall just a mixed bag. I think some families and young kids will really enjoy this a lot. And for me, I enjoy a lot of bad Christmas movies. But if a Christmas movie can nail down the holiday spirit, then it's something to add to my Christmas movie rotation. And Red One has earned a spot, at least for me. But I cannot recommend this movie to everyone. I don't really... There's a small group that I would recommend it to. But if, you're, if you see it on streaming eventually... Check it out. Give it a shot. I think there is some good elements to this film, and specifically, like my biggest tech, and specifically my biggest takeaways being J.K. Simmons is the perfect Santa Claus. I wish there was more of him in here, and the mythology was quite cool. So with all that said, I'm gonna give Red One a C. Thank you so much again for watching this, guys. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, comment down below your guys' thoughts, and of course, until next time, stay classy.